Hello friends, uh, this is Raghuram. Uh, I am having uh, 10 years of experience as a full stack developer. So this video is basically a basic setup whenever you join any organization as a software developer or a Java developer. Uh, so what are the basic setup you have to do when you start initially? So you have to do two things one is if it is a back end so you have to differentiate if it's a back end or a front end so if it's a back end and if it's a java first you have to download a jdk jre and then you have to download a maven i'll show you now and then for front end especially if you have a ui uh, layer also like uh, then it can be angular or react basically you have to download a uh, node.js apart from this also you need editors for back end i would say eclipse or IntelliJ and then for front end I would say VS Code these are the most popular tools but you can use uh, any other tools in your team which is recommended okay so we'll quickly see like we will download this and we will set up in our enormous variables so first of all you have to go to JDK download so it will lead to a Oracle com right so you have to refer to this team this website or this one whichever is uh don't go to any other third party uh but because the, you could see here 99.com and all so first link is always preferred okay so you have to see which version of java is recommended for your team okay so if it is a java 8 right so by default the latest versions will be uh, uh shown in java 18 or java 16. most probably in your teams and all i would say jdk 8 or jdk 11 most of the, nowadays most of the people are going for jdk 11 i would show for jdk 8 download okay so you can see here first link so here if you see you have to download both jdk 8 and jdk 11 so you could see on the right hand side you could see uh <coughs> First, you have to check for which operating system okay so if it's a windows so you have to download uh jdk 8 uh this one okay so by default it will ask for uh, this one so uh, it will ask for an uh, oracle account so you have to register for an oracle account here okay so you just have to download it similarly so let me download this have your oracle account actually uh, yeah you could see here so it's getting downloaded and then similarly you should go for a corresponding jre download uh to be precise jre 8 so it lead to the same site so this is jdk uh, the corresponding jre you have to download it so if it is a version 8 u333 right similar version of jre also need to be downloaded okay clear once you download this then you have to go for environment variables just you have to search for environment variables in your laptop okay and then <clears throat> in this environment variables In this environment variables you have to set up java home okay so you have to point to java home and you can do you have to point to the jdk this one and then there will be a, a a variable called path by default if it doesn't have you just have to create a variable called path so you have to create a variable like this new variable java home java underscore home and then you have to give the jdk path okay so once you download the jdk right you have to install it you have to click on next 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 it will get installed okay it's a exe exe file okay uh, similarly gre home is not required i would recommend only java home okay java home you have to point to uh corresponding jdk by default what we do whenever we install right by default it will look it will be installed in c program files okay or c program files slash 86 so one in one of these folder will be there uh it, a java folder will be created and then uh, you have to point to this location and then in the path variable you have to just point the bin path of it okay so you already created that variable java home 
you just have to give percentage java home percentage so it means it will take the that variable value and the slash bin you have to give the bin path so once you are done with this your setup java setup is done so you have to download jdk for example 8.1 8.333 similarly jre 8.333 once you are done done with that you have to download may one so for may one right you will get a so whenever you put a may one download you will get a zip file so again it's apache product so you will get here so you could see here you will get zip file right so you you just have to download the zip file okay once you download the zip file just unzip it okay just unzip it and you can place anywhere in your uh, laptop okay then just put a variable here again m2 home or a may1 home you have to give that path okay unzip it and put that path that's it may1 home okay so that, that's it so your java's your for backend java and may1 is done okay similarly for gradle for gradle also if you are using gradle as a build tool then you have to download a gradle unzip it and put the path here gradle home that's it so you're done with the settings for backend okay so if it's a tool it's straightforward again okay. eclipse download okay you have to download the so it will again point to first uh, website so you can do just download this latest version okay so first you have to download java then you have to download a me one and then you go for a tool this is for back -end. for front end you just have to go for node.js so you put node.js download okay then download the node.js just click on next 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 it will get down so the advantage of node.js is you don't need to set the environment variables when you install it automatically it will place in the entry will be placed in environment variable so you don't need to do that okay so uh, node.js will be automatically downloaded and installed and then it will be environment variable release then you have to download for vs code so vs code though is is most commonly used nowadays for ui so you can use for download visual code so you could see here for backend jdk jre may one or gradle and then eclipse or intel depends on your software okay for ui node.js and then vs code that's it once you are done with this means you are eligible you can start writing code now in your project there will be a repo right it can be a bit bucket so it can be different so it depends on the project bit bucket or GitLab or GitHub. These are these three are most commonly used um, repositories. So uh, for doing this, for cloning the repo uh, code code from the repo and all, you need to download a Git. So for doing that, you just have to do Git download for Windows or Mac. So you can just download. Click on next, next, next. You can click on Windows or Mac based on your operating system. And then you can click on next. It will get downloaded. The advantage of this is, again, it will it will place an entry in environment variables automatically. Okay. So once your Git is set up, then you can clone the repo. I will explain in the further sessions, I will explain how to clone the repo. Code base from the repo or how to push a code or how to pull a code, how to resolve merge conflicts, those things and all we will discuss. As of now, this is only for the basic setup. So for the backend, if it is a Java related, JDK, JRE, May 1, and then the corresponding tool. For the front end, Node.js, and then VS Code. And then for pulling the code from the repo, you have to download a Git. This is nothing but a setup. Whenever you join as a fresher, or whenever you join as experience, uh, in any organization this is the basic setup you have to, you don't need to rely on anyone you this is a uh, by default or understanding of the person so you don't need to ask anyone what we have to do you just have to download all this uh, you just ask have to ask few questions like what version of jr we are using or we are we using some J open jdk and all those stuff few questions you have to ask that's it rest things you have to do but yourself i will place this in my comment section you can check it out okay thanks guys uh have a nice day